everyone is overlord73 from gameanyone.com um, I'm going to be recording my first playthrough on the uh, iPad uh, I recently got an iPad for work um, it's pretty cool bit of kit um, obviously I've been looking what apps, games and things are around and I'm pleasantly surprised how good some of these games actually look um, in particular this one that I'm going to be recording now which is called Infinity Blade it's an RPG game it looks pretty sweet um, to say the least um, to basically to record this game though I've had to jailbreak the iPad um, because there's no way of actually recording the gameplay without doing so so basically we jailbreak it and then we using an app called Display Recorder which will record the screen unfortunately though it will only capture video it does not capture audio so I'm having to rely on the microphone that I'm commentating through to also pick the audio up from the game so if the audio is a bit shitty I do apologize but there's not a lot I can do about that um, I've played a bit on this game already just to get the idea of it um, but basically what I'm gonna have to do now is so you can watch the intro again is basically start afresh so once the intro starts I shall shut up and let you watch So basically we start a bit of an intro, interactive intro, where we've uh, been well attacked by a guy twice the size of us with a great big sword and we've got to block his attacks. So if we just tap on the shield symbol. And then we get a block break then, uh, whereas he's slightly stunned. So basically we can swipe at the screen and get a few hits in that team. So there we have it, we're dead, end of game. Thanks for watching. I'm only joking, I'm only joking, there's more coming now. So there we have it, father's been killed, 20 years later we're out to avenge his death. Um, so basically we, now we start, start the bloodline.
So, right, now the game pauses for a moment and we can scroll our finger across the screen to look around. Just take some of the scenery in, see if there's anything to collect, but there isn't here. And we've got a little exclamation mark that if we tap that, that will give us some uh, information on the enemy we we're about to face. There's a level one horned guardian. He's a horny guardian, baby. So now we've got the option to dodge. So when we're being attacked, we can tap one of the buttons at the side just to dodge all these attacks. And then once we've dodged, we can slice and dice. As soon as we get the dodge break, we'll start doing a bit of attacking of ourselves. Obviously, we can use the shield blocks as well if we like, but I find that the Dodges are a lot easier. And then once he's dead we get a finishing bonus XP just by getting a few few hits in at the end. Just grab a bit of extra XP. After the battle we'll go to the level up screen. It's where we collect the XP, any gold or any items that we can lift off the corpse. As you can see the sword and the shield that we were using in battle also level up as well as the magic ring, the helm. Experience. Armor, sword, shields, helmets and magic rings are all filled with XP. Collect XP by using them in battle. Drain the items and eventually master them. A mastered item gives you a skill point and increases its value. So basically, and then we go to the inventory screen, and we can look at the different items, and you can actually up, upgrade these quicker if you've got enough gold. I'll just show you, I haven't on these, but I'll show you. As basically, you can master the item with a thousand gold for that ring, but seeing as we've nowhere near enough, we will um, have to leave that for now. Alright, and now if we go back, back to the area, it's showing us here we can look around. There's a health potion there, so we can pick that up. Have a look around, and there's some a bag of gold there as well. Got a, more of a pouch of gold, I think. And we tap the uh, glowing circle in the centre of the screen, and we can move to the next area, picking up any gold or items that we can spot during the little cutscene. As we watched another enemy coming out onto the bridge to greet us. Toggle the info again. He's a marrow fiend, level one. Let's get it on. Ah, oh, we get a little parry tutorial now. Whereas if we swipe in line with the enemy strike, we get a successful parry. Easier said than done when you haven't got the on screen prompts, I may add. As I say, I will just basically be blocking, uh, dodging as many attacks as I possibly can. I just find it easier to dodge than to parry or to... Well, the, the shield's easy enough, I suppose, but... Slap him about a bit.
He's one ugly dude. And we get a finish, finishing bonus again. Let's get as many hits in as we can. Just to finish him off. And he's skewered. We got him good. Gold Fury, which is a new helmet that we found. Nice bit of new army. We've leveled up as well. And we have two level up points. Congratulations, you just reached level 2 and earned some skill points. Spend skill points to increase health, attack, shield or magic. So I think I shall put a point on attack. And No, I think I'll put them both on attack actually. Let's do a bit more damage. If we look in the inventory, because we found a new helmet, we can see if it's any better. So basically it gives us plus 1 to attack, plus extra gold. And the one that we've currently equipped with gives us plus two to health and life drop. Which basically means you've got a chance of the enemies dropping health potions. So I think we'll stay with what we've got. Um, before we continue I think I'll stop this video actually. Um, so check back soon for the next one.